Diabetic uh, pathology is increasing a lot in Italy. Only 40 years ago, the population involved was 3%. Now it's 5.3%. The diabetic population will be, will be so high in a few years that will be a big problem for the public health, and for the hospitals, for the doctors, for everybody. There are some very local um, screening in Italy. I mean, some towns or regions of Italy did a screening, but they did it once and I did for a limited amount of population. We are mainly dedicated to cataract and refractive surgery, but we have also a dry eye center, we have a specialist in uh, retina, we try to do, to cover all the, the field of ophthalmology. Uh, being chemo, a uh, private center, is something very, really special, I would say, because uh, normally a campaign on, uh, similar to the one that I did it should be done by a public hospital or a public uh, service. So we have a few doctors, more and more patients asking for uh, you know, exams on their eyes, and the cost of uh, public health is increasing, the number of diabetics is increasing. Uh, we decide to organize a national campaign using technology, using fundus cameras, using technicians, not any more doctors to do that. The objective of this campaign was uh, first of all to inform the population about the risk of uh, the diabetic on eye problems. Second, to uh, stimulate the doctors to take care of the patients with diabetic. Third, to stimulate the generalist doctors to send the, their patient to the eye doctor. We found 10% uh, of our patient uh, had a diagnosis of um, diabetic retinopathy and they didn't know before. That's the problem. That's the good, I mean, of the campaign. By having the, the retina checked by the artificial intelligence and having the ability to delete or cancel, I mean, 70% uh, of the patient uh, because they were not uh, diabetic because uh, with a diabetic retinopathy because they were uh, without uh, any um, retina problem. And having just the 30% of the patient with a uh, suspect diabetic or, the, or diabetic retinopathy, this can allow the doctors to spend much more time on checking and studying and taking care of the health of this, those patients. We have a very positive feedback from the patient. They were very happy to, to do the exams. The, the exams were done for free. Uh, and uh, they had a very quick diagnosis because with the artificial intelligence we were able to give a, a report in a minute or two. I mean, uh, it's something incredible. I also can add that uh, uh, by using artificial intelligence we were able to do the exams without uh, disturbing the patient. I mean, uh, we use the not dilating uh, exams. Uh, not invasive exams, very quick exams, very mm, precise exams. The software are offering really a lot of advantages. Less cost, less time for the doctors, many patients seem not invasive, very simple exam, very precise and diagnosis. Wonderful. <laughs>